Hello, Randall Monk and Rhonda Vazane here with a little conversation. Yes, yeah, yeah, a little one-on-one -on -one with y'all in your living room, and you are in my living room. Yes. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Uh, how about talking about a little bit about ascension? Uh, a lot of people are talking about ascension, and of course, um, um, anybody watching this probably knows that we are in the process of ascending. And well, anything in particular you'd like to say about that topic? Just that it is not, it is an ongoing process. It is not a destination. And oh yeah, it never ends, ends, right? And so it's never yeah. ending. And it's not going to happen tomorrow. It is gonna take time. We didn't get this way in, an, in just a short time. But it can be, it can either be, you are going to have to experience the pain and, 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 and the negativity because you, the laws are, you are a co-creator and we were given free will. But one of the main uh, um, thing, ways they admonished us was you also have to experience what you create. And so they have taken away total free will because in order to keep us from destroying ourselves. And so it is free will within certain parameters. And so the karma is coming right back. If you watch what's happening to you and when you're in the flow and things are going really well, uh, then, then you're pretty much, your energy, you know, you're sending out compatible, a harmonized energy. But then if you get critical and, or, you know, all of these angry and, and judgmental and, and um, get out of your center and watch how you kind of get knocked around. What, I mean, it's happening so quickly, and the lessons, it's a lesson and a blessing, but if you listen up, if you stop and think, okay, you know, just, I, I like, I, I, one of the things that amazes me now is people, uh, we're getting more sensitive, our, our, our bodily forms, and we can't eat and do a lot of the things we did. And so they know that certain things that they eat still bother them, but they do it anyway, and they try and fix it with antacids mm. or something. That ain't gonna work no more. <laughs> it is, you know, I've become allergic to so many different things of makeup and all that, and all of the, and, and, and I know if I want to be comfortable and attain what they're offering me, I have to pay attention. And my body, my body consciousness is fine tuned and it's telling me. And so I didn't get to be 94 uh, doing all that negative stuff. I got here by listening. And by paying attention. And it's that same way with your life. You know, so many people are almost cut off from the new divine blueprint. You don't have to be. Begin to listen. There are beings of light there waiting to guide, direct, protect you, and guide you, and lead you. But you have to do the work. We're talking about keeping the energy flowing. We have now put all of the messages. We have now put all of Archangel Michael's teachers. I had put them, um, Michael told me, put them on YouTube. I have put it out there free. But, and, I, and I have turned everything over to spirit. And I know, and I, you've heard me say, my mantra is all, all my needs, desires are met even before I know what they are. <laughs> you're either going to do it at free will or you're gonna keep getting wrapped until you do. And so, that process is step by step by step, paying attention, rise a little bit above to see the interactions and what you're doing, and begin to listen to that little voice. Because this opportunity that we have right now, and we're going to be given new techniques to help us move even faster, but this ascension process is an individual job. You can, you can progress so quickly if, if you just begin to pay attention. There are angelic beings and teachers there that are saying, okay, let's go forward. And everybody's waiting for, way back when it was the ships were gonna come and save us, and then there was going to be a big blast. Well, you know, I see it can either be a lumen thought, wonderful lumen teachings, which I am kind of getting a hint of, or a catastrophic event. A catastrophic event that will take away a lot more people and will also wake up people. Which way do you want it to be? There's two timelines, two or three different timelines there. 
It isn't them doing it to us. It's us doing it to us. So which timeline? We're on this timeline that's an escalator kind of. You want to be there with us? Gosh, it's fun. <laughs> and and it's being proved to us every day. Or the middle one, if you're a little, it's a little slower, but it's still making progress. But the other one is you take two or three steps up and then you take a four back. Is that what you want? But the stops are out. We call these holograms, these, these great unity consciousness, the pyramids of light. All, everything is in place now. It's all there, all the tools. It takes time to understand it and learn it, but when you do, it is, it's, it's way beyond Star Trek, the things that we're getting and that we're understanding and that we see that they have prepared for us. And that's, there's waiting there for us to take the steps. And so we know, we know the potential. And we know that, you know, no one knows what you've been through. No one knows what you brought with you to heal. But are you gonna let that stop you? Everybody's had problems, so are you gonna be in your whiny mortar bone and step back? Well, good luck. But you make the effort and they will pull out the stops and nothing will stop you. And that's the encouragement we we'll wanna give you. Put on your big girl pants and your big boy pants and let's go forward together and stop blaming everybody else for what's happening to you. You are the creator. You created it. Let the change begin with you and watch and see what happens. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what, uh, what uh, all ascension really is, is raising and maintaining our vibration, a high vibration. And of course, uh, as Rana and I both know, we can, no matter what's going on in our world, and no matter which vibration it's at, we can be living in a fifth dimensional environment, environment personally, or a fifth dimensional hologram, if you wish, personally. But along with that, yes, you have to raise your vibrations. Yeah. Then you have to integrate it, become it, and share it. Yeah. And keep it flowing. Yeah. It's because important to share. That's, that's the condition of being a co-creator. Yeah. The, one, of the, one of the things about that, though, is it doesn't mean you have to go out there and do what we're doing. No. You be, being an example, that's a, a prime a, example, exactly. that's the best teacher right there it, for anybody, a parent or absolutely. anybody. Yeah. And like it said, start right there. Yeah. And like you integrate the information to knowledge, change it to wisdom, make it a part of you and then be the example and finally the last thing you can speak you can speak it and use yeah when you you know then that can be in a just a personal conversation yes. when somebody asks you you know how do you do what you're doing or any you know whatever yes yeah. exactly yeah but you got to keep that energy flowing you got to keep it flowing you know what if you don't share it and use it it becomes stagnant and it turns in on you and it's like a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of little bugs and you're thinking, oh my God, what's happened? Yeah. So get it out of there, use it, share it, be the love, be that, we know what you are, we know what your potential is. I don't care what's happened to you in the past, anyone, anyone, they have made it so that we can. Do you not think that our creator cannot love every facet of creation back into harmony and beauty but it's us to uh up to us as to how long it takes so mm -hmm. see you somewhere along the path but we're just going to keep going <laughs> yes indeed <laughs> much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours oh my gosh everyone uh if we could just if we could just be with you which we would you know not just speaking but also uh, uh just give you a little bit of the uh, wonder and the beauty and the love that we experience. It's there and available, and we send it to you just like the beginnings of light do. But you're not alone. You're never mm -hmm. alone, okay? We love you.